guys, welcome to Catch Jitsu and Pew Pew today. I got the Springfield Hellcat versus the P365 SIG. We're going to be doing a very extensive review of stuff that other people haven't done, including checking uh, how easy they are to get out of battery, the size, the functionality of the controls. Uh, I'm going to be uh, function testing at the end, doing a magged up, uh, candy striping of different hollow points, and... Um, Drawing from the pocket. We're going to be going from the pocket today, uh, comparing them as pocket guns. And I'm going to start with just talking about the overall features and giving a size comparison, not only between each other, but between the Ruger LCP and the Walder PPQSC. So here they are. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoy the view review. My name for the 1500 videos on catch wrestling, jiu jitsu, etc. has been catchjitsu.com. Do you think that I should change the name of my YouTube channel to Catch Jitsu and Pew Pew? Is that a good name? Should I change it? The reason I ask because someone from the UK wrote me nasty the other day saying, Oh my God, now it's turned into a gun channel. Well, uh, martial arts, it's all the same to me about self defense. So let me know what your thoughts are and let's get into this in depth review. All right, guys, let's take a closer look now of the Hellcat versus the P365, as well as the Ruger LCP and the Walder PPQSC. Today, I think I'll be firing mostly um, drawing from the pocket holster, even though I only got the long magazine right now for the Springfield. But um, it seems to work really well. In fact, I'm going to show you in a minute. In the draws that I've already practiced, I'm getting more reliable drawing from the pocket holster if I mess up, if I'm standing square, if I don't use my thumb to get rid of the DeSantis Nemesis. Um, I'm actually getting better with the Springfield, and I'll take a separate video of that in a minute and insert it in. Um, I may do some firing in the, the generic holster that fits a hell of a lot of firearms made by Phalanx, and um, so I may be firing from both. All right. So anyway, guys, uh, for the size comparisons, realize that this is the 10 rounder with the pinky extender on the 365. Sorry, it's not exa exactly apples to apples. And this is the Springfield Hellcat with the 13 round magazine. So this is now 10 plus one. This is 13 plus one. All right, let's start with the uh, Springfield Hellcat. First up, picking it up. I have XL hands, keep that in mind. I have XL hands, but not ridiculously long fingers. I'm 5'11", 240. I'm the size of Sylvester Stallone, who I stunt doubled once before. So, um, it may be one inch in the slide, but it does seem to be a bit thicker in the grip. That's either a good thing or a bad thing. You be the judge. Uh, for me, I think it's a good thing. It fits better in my hand initially. The beaver tail seems to fit better in my hand. It's harder for me to get a grip on the gun wrong that isn't in the good web of my hand versus the P365. I can kind of end up with a grip like that, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, I like the P365, and it's a very capable system. I've, I've run it through its paces about three times, and um, first 50 rounds, I didn't love it, but now i found that it's really, really capable. But if you have bigger hands, this may be a better grip. It feels, at least with this mag, it feels like a full-size fighting gun. So this may be the do-it-all, whether you're going to hip carry with extended mag and pocket carry with the 10, the 10, the, or 11, 11 with the pinky extender, or with the 13 plus 1, which I'm surprised I can do in my jeans. So wow, that's pretty awesome. So grip texture feels good. Um... Maybe a little bit better than the 365. We'll see what it's like when I'm firing it. So again, guys, it is a little wider here versus the slide in a slide versus slide comparison. These are empty firearms. They've been checked. Um, the other two are condition three, but that's okay. So um, slides look the same and grips. I don't know if you can see that on camera grips. This is a little bit thicker. I'm pretty sure if I measured them with calipers. Um, size to size. Here. 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 Now with flat bases, the Springfield is actually 0.1 less in height. So that is something to consider if you want to pocket carry. 
the extra grip with is something you may also want to pocket carry. I might do a video in a second, at least with this mag, this really prints on me because it has a very sharp edge, the pinking stunner and the 365. I do not fire gu guns well with my pinky dangling off. So you can see that in my very popular PPQSC verse 365 review. Feels very good in the hand. And again, I don't really get this before I forget. Sometimes I can grab the 365 and it ends up a little bit rotated. There's where I need it to be for instinctual point shooting. And so it's where I need it to go as opposed to there. The 365 is a little bit easier for me to get a wrong draw, uh, a cant on it. All right, let's look at the controls. Magazine release seems good so far and it's kind of hidden on the shelf. So it will be difficult to dislodge. Empty firearm. So smart thinking here, whether that was just so you had a nice firing grip with your thumb or so when it depress on accident in the you know pocket carry or whatever, I don't think it will. This is ingenious, whether they intended to or not, they probably did. Um, I haven't pocket carried the 365. That's a range rental and it's probably got 5,000 rounds through it. It's been really good. And I think I'm the only one who semi cleaned it twice, adding a little bit of weight down on the rails and whatnot really quick. So, um, really good magazine release. Okay, as far as slide release, slide stop, right there. Okay, as far as press checking, eh, I can't really do it because the spring is so strong. Now the spring will loosen up a little bit. This is a brand new gun. I think maybe it's had a few rounds through it already since yesterday, but that's that's it. Um, so the serrations are okay, but because the spring is, is heavier, I'm not a big press checker anyway. Back here, as far as over the top, to lock it back, this is better, both because of the serrations on top, perhaps, that actually helps. That's pretty ingenious, as well as the nice shelf we can do one-handed manipulations on the rear sight. So as far as locking it back, if you need to go over the top, this seems to be better. I'll show you that now on the 365. There's the mag release. Some people don't like where that is, uh, though it is kind of hidden at an angle. So you're probably okay with this not accidentally releasing. My LCP, sometimes I'll find that my mag, and I, you know, I'm in the habit of checking it occasionally, my mag will get depressed on the LCP. As far as press checks, you can actually do it on the 365. Now, like I said, I think this has probably 5,000 rounds through it already. But um, here, lock it back. Certainly pretty easy, but you might kind of miss. It's not your hand can slide over the top and drag on the sights, and it probably will still do what you need it to do, but it's not as secure. All right. Um, as far as nice stippling up here on the Hellcat, I like that. I think that's going to give me a nice shooting platform. Don't worry, guys. This is a shooting review. We're going to get to the shooting, including, you know, um, accuracy at 7 and 10 yards probably, and at 5 yards, Mozambique's comparing them, and um, uh, fast fives at 5 yards, typical self-defense stuff, and then we'll be going to mo multiple assailants on two or three targets, hopefully on three targets, if things go as planned. So there, easy to lock back. Nice grip here. 365 has the rail where it's actually a nice place to put your thumb so you don't ride too high and ride the slide stop so it doesn't lock back, which a lot of people have problems with. I typically don't on the 365, um, but, you know, hand size vary. Slide release. RS sights. Beautiful sight picture. I think I'm going to like it for shooting. I like rear U notches, whether it had that white or not. I tend to like U notches as opposed to regular notches on rears. And I really like having a front night sight. That's kind of a big dot. That's, uh, I believe it is uh, tritium in the center with a phosphorescent ring on the outside. I think for faster work, comparing them for up close and personal as these guns are designed, you know, 10 yards in, this is going to be better. If you need to take a precision shot at 25 yards, the sights on the SIG will be better. 
Now, one thing I don't like about the SIG sights, I like the front sight a lot, um, but the rear is kind of obscure and even worse on the XL and even worse on some of their other pistols that have the same rear sights as the XL. The XL even um, obscures your target, and if you're searching for a target, um, it kind of obscures your vision a, a bit more, in my opinion. But for it's amazing what you got nowadays instead of a J-frame, how much capacity, how much capability uh, you have with 9mm. 9mm performs really well from a 3-inch or 3.1-inch barrel with the right ammo choices. And it's amazing what you can be. As far as size comparison, again, guys with different mags. You can see how they line up. There. So, pretty similar. Pretty similar, guys. If you look at overall, pretty similar. Um, looks like more length on the uh, Springfield. Uh, a flat base is, guys, again, Springfield's actually a little shorter. So, for pocket carry, if I needed to put the smorter mag in, uh, if you were a smaller person. But me, I'm a big guy, 36, 38 jeans. Um, I'm surprised what I can do with this. Compared to the LCP. Compared to the LCP. But again, guys, these are big enough where compared to the PPQSC, a lot smaller. Which I often pocket carry the PPQSC not in jeans because it's not a reliable pocket draw. My initial Springfield Hellcat video talks a lot about that. But um in shorts, I carry the PPQSC a lot. So there's a good size comparison. Talked about the functionality, talked about the sights, talked about the serrations, talked about where to rest your uh, support hand thumb, good undercut on the spring field, and uh, mag releases, and grip texture. We'll see what that's really like, if the grip texture really does what it says on firing, but this feels good in the hand. If I just grab it again, it doesn't really, it goes where I need it to, okay? so. We'll continue with more in a bit. So, trigger, trigger reset, empty guns. Nice, very crisp ball on the Springfield. Take up, dingus, take up, dingus, take up. Very crisp ball. And the break, very crisp. Very crisp. Break. And here is the reset. Pretty short, but I like this very nice defined wall. I would say the Springfield has the better trigger. They both have really good triggers when you're actually firing them rapid fire for self-defense purposes. Empty. Take up. Again, this one's had like 5,000 rounds to it, I think, at best estimate. Take up. Fire. And the reset there. And fire. So, both have good triggers. More defined wall on the Springfield, though new gun. And um, the P365 is a bit spongy, but still really good in my opinion. All right, guys, let's talk about now how easy they are to get out of battery. This is really important to really dedicated people like myself or for law enforcement that may consider this as a backup, whether, you know, inside their bulletproof vest or carried on the ankle, etc. Either the Either of these ones certainly provide you a lot more than a J-frame, though obviously revolvers don't go out of battery, so that's always been a good choice for a backup for law enforcement. The reason I mention this, empty firearms, okay? Empty, 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 is because SIG, or I'm sorry, Springfield, said there's that this little bit here of the reco end of the recoil spring assembly, the RSA, which by the way is stippled, which is really interesting, uh, for the inevitable part where I ask everyone to look at my crotch, I apologize, but pocket carrying, which one do you think I'm pocket carrying with which mag? Now this is in jeans and I'm surprised I can get away with it. This is the Springfield Hellcat. Um, these are in the DeSantis uh, MK marked holster. I carry only with Nemesis holsters. And um, it fits it really well. Now, 
as you'll see in pocket draws, I don't practice from square stance because usually it's an unreliable draw. But so far, and this is with 13 plus one, you know, I don't, not loaded, but with a 13 round extended bag on it, it's drawing just fine. It has not come out on the gun where it has in early trials with the 365. So I'm square and it's coming out just fine. Uh, which is pretty amazing considering now I could have 14 rounds of firepower on me. Um, I don't know why that is, considering it's kind of a bit of a thicker gun, but this is what I'm finding. Okay, usually I would practice a little bit of staggered stance. My fence, hey man, back off, I don't want any trouble. Okay, now what if he swung a knife, crowbar, uh, whatever at my face? I would usually on the draw, hit the back pocket on the draw, and two from high thoracic, two from high pectoral index, you know, shooting low into the body so you don't shoot your arm from a cover position and then bringing it up to the headshot. So kind of a modified Mozambique. Two high pectoral, one of the head is what I would recommend for up close and personal business. See, I have not even been using my thumb, which is a, is a you know, a tactic to help clear the uh, holster. So that was without even using my thumb. Long mag in and a cover position two from high thoracic, and then I'd index one of the heads. So you see, I had absolutely no issues with the empty firearm. Now with the 365, standing square, which I don't like to do because I also pocket carry with bigger guns in shorts and whatnot, drawing from square stance. Oh man, I don't want any trouble, dude. Hey man, what's going on? And the holster came out with it. I'm dead. Or, you know, at least have to take about, probably about 0.6 seconds to clear the pocket holster. Once you realize it, hopefully. Um, let's try it again. This time I'll use my thumb to try and clear it from the holster. Hey, dude, I don't want any trouble. Oh, so it came out, but that's because I used my thumb to take it off. Uh, you know, but I would like to, you know, it's an advantage in case you don't or not in the habit or you might food or forget in the heat of the moment when you're surprised one more time without using the thumb came off with okay for whatever reason that's not happening with the hellcat staggered stance hey dude fence i don't want any problem hands up ready to defend he swings at you or draws a gun that you have to grab or fend off with your lead hand my left hand in this case and uh i'll draw it back into the right without using my thumb Hey dude, I don't want any trouble. High pectoral and go to the head. That was okay and I didn't use my thumb. I'll try it again then without using my thumb. Uh, this is what it looks like, by the way. So I don't know if you can tell the printing on camera. Sorry for making you look at my crotch. Um, at least with this mag, remember this is with the pinky extender. I flare it for crap without the pinky extender. I don't know what it would look like with a 12 rounder, which would be more apples to apples. With the Hellcat, um, but that ridge really, really uh, is pretty. Even if the gun's a little less thick in the grip, it, it seems like to me. Anyway, so keep that in mind. Hey, do you want any trouble? Going back and right without using my thumb again. And using good technique, I was able to go to high uh, pectoral index and then go to the head. So um, anyway, it seems like the Hellcat is a little bit easier on the draw as far as printing, you be the judge. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe. I wanna thank uh, Range Guns and Safes in Atlanta, Georgia. They have two locations, check it out, Great Range. They're the ones that made this very in-depth video possible for you. Um, I might split it up in a two, so if I do, make sure to check out part one where I go over all kinds of stuff. Anyway, thank you very much. Yo, homie, is that my briefcase? You want it back? Nice start. There's one more guy.